Oh, oh, we are now. Oh. <laughs> Hello, <Hi. laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. Um, what is? Oh, it's August first. I get to say August first. It's August first. Oh man, that makes it's sense because I had so many things that like went live on my Facebook group, and I was like, that seems like a lot. And then I realized I did like the monthly ones. Oh, I made some monthly posts because I was like, it seems like there's a lot going on today. That's because it's August 1st. I should have known yes. that before. Anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> but today, this is this is our fourth episode. Woo! woo. woo so woo. excited. And uh, we are going to talk about fonts. Fonts is something that we all need if we're going to be designing. So um, I, Beth is going to show us all kinds of, she has a list of things. And then mm-hmm. I'm going to show you guys how to make your own font. Well, not really your own font, but but images (laughs) that are words. All right. Okay. So let's see here. Yep. I I wanted to make sure I had the share screen thing. So morning, 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 everyone. Hey, you know what would be fun? Let's know where everyone is. Let's see. Let's pin ourselves. I'm pinning myself. Oh, you're going to pin yourself? Yeah. Can you guys put in the chat where you guys are from? Oh, do you need my help to pin you? No, I pinned you, didn't I? Yeah, but I'm only by myself. Oh, well, maybe I just pinned myself. Um, I don't know. It looks pinned on mine. <laughs> Am I not pinned? I only see myself. It's all oh. good. Let's. Well, you pin it then. Stop. I'm trying. I'm trying. No, I don't know. All right, so Perth, Australia. Central Texas, Maryland, Virginia, New Jersey, Palm Springs, California. I lived in Virginia for a while. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to convince my husband to move to Maryland, but he's like, no. (laughs) So we're in we're in Tennessee. I am. I'm in California. Mm -hmm. By San Francisco. All right. This is cool. We have quite a few people here today. Yeah. All right, so fonts, fonts, oh. fonts, fonts. New Jersey. Okay, so fonts are like my love language. <laughs> they are, well, no, it's really clip art, but oh, uh, clip art fonts is. maybe second. I do love fonts. So, like, if I'm like, oh, I can't fall asleep, I will go on Creative Fabrica and I will look at all their fonts and I'll scroll them until I fall asleep. That's how much I love fonts. <laughs> Uh, anyway so yeah um okay so last year um I let me think how to say this so I was wanting to make some um classroom decor last year and I um I couldn't figure out a theme so um I went on Creative Fabrica and I looked at what was like people were making like um the different uh clip art that people were using and I still couldn't find anything. I wasn't like satisfied with anything. And then I looked at the fonts and there were like a few of these groovy fonts. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. Groovy fonts are last the best. year. Yeah, yeah, it was so big and I was like, "Oh, I I could do that." And like I'm not really into groovy cuz like I don't know. I'm just not. <laughs> and I so, yeah, well, I am now. Uh, so I, that's what I used and I made some um, classroom decor and it sells really well and all because I found a good font that I like. So kind of to go with what we talked about last week about like how to get inspired. You can just look at fonts if you're like me and, <laughs> and you love them. <laughs> all right. So um. Okay, so let me let me share. Oh, that's okay. Oh, you're from Michigan. Oh, my neighbors are from Michigan that are just moving here. All right, let me share my screen. Yes. So um, this is PowerPoint. And um, I have this font that I got. I don't even know when. Uh, there was, it was on, it was free, I think. Um, but um, what I recommend doing for um, yourself and for your sanity um, is to pick a heading font. Yep. Pick 
a subheading font and then pick a um like a sentence font i like this uh stanford font but you know what makes a really good font this one hold on it's a stanford biography this is a sentence font so that like like those will go together yeah. nicely and easily i like to do font duos but um what i also want to say that you can do is um let me just duplicate this. You can also use like the basic ones that are on the actual theme or like the actual program. Um, what is the word? The platform, I guess, like on PowerPoint or on Canva, yeah. you can use the regular one and just like change how you like, okay. Like, <laughs> so like one of the basic ones here is century gothic and i think it's a beautiful font and i love it if you just take this for a heading and you just make it um uppercase and you just bold it bold it and then you take this one and you make it regular and it's just century gothic then like it gives enough of a difference that you would still see this first as a heading so like just just doing that, just capitalizing the letters and bolding it gives it enough of a difference that like you can use both of these fonts and they'll go together, if that makes sense. Like yeah, that's, one so of, that's one of my things I do is, hi. <laughs> so basically <laughs> what you're saying is play around with the font. Yes. See what you can do with it. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, do uh, bold, because uh, Canva you can... Canva, you can do a little bit what you just kind of did, but not as much. Um, they are the same font. Yeah. These yeah. Two. Mm -hmm. So and it's just so, playing around with it to get yeah. the, I love that. I love, I love that PowerPoint will allow you to do that. Canva doesn't always, or oh, oh, Canva, it we can't always. change. It, it, I like how it did it in here. Let's just say that. In Canva, it's a little, you have to, it, it doesn't give as much choices, I think. Like you can okay. bold it, you can capitalize it, that stuff like that, definitely. Yeah. And you can also like with Canva, you can, like some of these have like a little, like you can use different oh, yeah, types. that's right. That's it right. It's like a family. So you yep. can be like, I want this extra bold and then you can duplicate it. You know, I've never done the family thing. Why have I never done that? That's so I awesome. I don't know. It's a good idea. And then you can make like regular or medium for that. And then like, so it it makes enough of a difference. Like if you don't, if you don't want to buy a thousand fonts, <laughs> like I do, <laughs> you can use what's on Canva. Like Canva has yeah. a whole bunch of different things that you can use as well, like on it. And I think that, well, you can talk about Canva because you love Canva. But, but what I wanted to say was that you don't have to pick, like, you don't have to go out and buy fonts if that's not your jam. Right. But it yeah. is my jam. <laughs> <laughs> and she switches it up. I do. And another thing, like, so I like, what I like to do is I like to have where you pick, you pick three fonts. Like right. I talked about this last Recommend week. Recommend that three fonts. Mm -hmm. You pick um, a heading, which is chunky like this. Yep. Or like this one with the bold um, and a subheading. I like to use a script for that as long as it's legible. Me too. And you can see it. And then the, a sentence case, just a simple. This could even be Century Gothic or whatever Canva. Use. I think Canva has its own like Canva Sans. It does have its own. And Canva mm -hmm. Sans, I don't mind. I, I, I like it. Yeah, it's not bad. So I, I like Century Gothic. It's a basic, easy to read. Yep font so three now i know canva has a brand kit does powerpoint have something similar to that it does have something similar you can go to design up on okay. the top and come over here to variants and there probably should be things here but i don't think my canva up to, oh <laughs> there are things here if i'm <laughs> So it didn't show that ever in my entire life so it was kind of cool that it just did that was awesome uh, <laughs> And you can go to fonts here and you can like customize your fonts. So I have okay. different ones that I add that go together. Like this one is a century Gothic. I wonder if I will, like if I come up here and I just pick 
the heading and then make this one into the body. If you pick the ones up here that say like the theme fonts, then they will change with each um, branding that you do. So you could change it to this, or to this, if you have different fonts that you like. Sky was asking what the fonts were at first. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. That's a good question. I believe it was like KA Weekends and KA Honeycomb. They were a duo. I yep. can those are can, yours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can I can find them for you and I can give you a list. What are those three fonts? Okay, so that's one. Yeah, undo is a good idea. Thank you, Sky. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then um, uh, for the sentence font, that's also on Creative Fabric or on um, Teachers Pay Teachers. It's not free, but these two are free and I think they look really nice together. Um, I usually have a different font that I like, but I like that this one's free, so I use it now. <laughs> so you get your fonts from Creative Fabric. Mm hmm. And okay. teachers pay teachers. Teachers pay teachers, mm -hmm. but also PowerPoint has plenty of them anyways. PowerPoint does have plenty. Okay. But I'm picky and I have things I like. <laughs> so I buy them on Creative Fabric. And it well, doesn't feel like I'm buying it because right, they're free. Because mm -hmm. they're free once you pay for a subscription or they have a bunch that are free. Yeah. Also. They all, yeah. Even if you don't have a subscription, they're always, always free. Mm -hmm. There's none. So, I love preference. Can you put your font preferences in Facebook with this? Oh, yeah, definitely we can. Yes, I can. Yeah. Yeah. I'll mm -hmm. I'll make sure we both put our preferences in there. Um stop sharing so we can talk. So with the the fonts, I love, love, love that you recommend three as well. Because I feel like when you do more than three, you kind of get, you know, uh so. Make sure if you use PowerPoint to do what um, Beth showed you, just have it in, well, their brand kit mm -hmm. and then Canva, put it in your brand kit. And I'll show that in a second. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to show some of your favorite fonts in Creative Fabrica? Do you have that up? <laughs> I, I know she was yeah. itching for me to. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Let's go to Creative Fabric Cat and look uh, at the font. Let's go look at fonts. All right. So this was back when I was in my uh, groovy phase. But recently I've been, I like this spooky one. Oh, yeah. That's cute. Yes. I love but that. I like the big, the big chunky ones like this one. There was this one that I really liked, but she stopped selling. Like she took it all down. And I, I was like excited that. to show that one. I like Dash. that. Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, those, those are fonts that you would use for like principles and stuff, mm -hmm. not on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> no, no. And that's another thing is like, you can have like a whole set, yeah. like you can, so you can have like your three that you like, that is like your brand. Right. Yep. And then you can pick a different brand for each like type of printable that you make like if you want to make classroom decor you could be like oh I'm gonna make it with this font and like like make a brand kit for that uh theme and then never talk to it again you know like like I did with groovy like I made all these groovy things and then it's like okay bye groovy have a nice life right you know I love that, I love that tip so make a brand kit mm -hmm. for eat for the printables okay yeah. I love that that's what I did for um, Groovy was this one. And now it has this other one, but I use this, just the top one. It's oh, up okay. updated now. <laughs> uh, so the bottom has some, has little dots in it. Okay. It's little like things, but yeah. So what I really love is um, um, uh, duos. I like duos. Like, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you would think I would have one of right oh, here, like this Santa one. Babe. Santa yeah. babe. Like this one has like a groovy font on top. And then it also has this like scripty font. So it takes kind of the questions away of like, can I do this? Like, can I like put these two together? Because they already go together. And you know that they go together well because you favorited it and it's something that caught your eyes. 
So that's the one thing I like. Also, this write the story is so stinking cute, isn't it? Mm. Mm. You know, sometimes when I do the, you know, the font duos, mm-hmm. um, when I download it and then put up in, in Canva, sometimes I can never really understand how to get the fancy stuff happening. Oh. Does that make sense? Like, like sometimes there's little stars or those oh. little extra little things. Oh my gosh. Did you know that that's a thing? Hold on. Um, let me, let me think back to my brain. I can figure this out. Okay. So it's like, um, mm, I'm going to have to do research to figure that Wig- out. Yeah. I, I can't it's remember. A thing. It is a thing. And I can, Wiggins, wi- I don't know. I can't remember. Wi- it's like little. You're, you're trying to say wingdings or wingdings. wingdings. That's <laughs> uh, I always see see what is a wingding I don't get it a wingding is like like a font that's like well I'm, I searched the wrong thing it's like a they don't even have them yeah um, see but it's see, like maybe, it's maybe like that's a, why. maybe that's why like it's the ones that they're not like a thing it's um like, like these this. little characters or something yeah i have them actually printed which is ridiculous so don't make fun of me but uh like like these like each letter is yes. its own thing yes yeah. those are great for like um like like uh break the code things cryptograms is that the word is that a word yeah so um and i print them because I, I think I'm, I'm just going to address this right now Gosh, oh, I thought I could just get that out without Ew. anyone noticing. Right. Um, you print stuff out? Only like things like this. <laughs> Only because like, how am I supposed to remember that these parts okay. are like letter H or whatever? Okay. Like, how am I supposed to remember okay. that? So I print okay. them and I tell them how pretty they are. And then, maybe that's why I'm so confused because I don't print them out and don't, don't get them it. Up. See, okay, maybe, okay. it would help. It would help. It probably would. Then I wouldn't be like, oh, well, what about the letter H that I really like? That little thing that went with letter H. Right? But you yeah. print them out. Genius. Mm-hmm. Just the wingdings. The wingdings. Oh, ones. I know. Just the wingdings. Yeah, the rest of them. Although that's a good idea too. If you have like a, like a font um pairing that you really like like write down the name of it in that font and then save that as like you could save that on a file on your canva that's like a like a like a I mean it would be your brand kit I guess you could just do that that would be a lot easier to just be like this this is my brand kit I also (laughs) in the canva creations I I pop uh font uh duos. duos And I have a freebie. So I'll put those up in the video as well today. Okay. Okay. okay so uh, did you want to show in Teacher Pay Teacher fonts? And then I can go to Canva. Goodness. I love that you're like, all right, Beth, do you want to do this thing that you obviously want to do? Like, oh, yes, please. Let me find the fonts really quick. Now, I never knew you can find fonts on Teacher Pay te- Teacher until please. you show. No, okay, maybe- never until you showed me just recently I was like huh so okay we'll go back here if you just like I mean another thing you could do one of my favorite things I love the way Beth's brain works (laughs) um I'm pretty sure I guess they probably don't do they have like a no they don't they don't have like a font I guess you'd probably call it like by teachers pay teacher by sellers for sellers huh and then yeah so this has fonts all these people sell fonts isn't that great okay but so I like this one her name is like Caitlin Albany or something you just type in K-A everyone's always searching for her so she's always on the front page (laughs) but uh yeah there she is oh okay and she's got all these fonts that look really cute together and she made one that was like free last tpt sale i don't know if she still has it for free if she does that would be really awesome because then i could just be like here you go friends oh she has one wait, oh no that's a it's oh that's a flash font freebie that's huh. fun to say oh here we go two free fonts honeycomb and weekdays 
So oh, honeycomb is nice. I like it. Sometimes it gets a little uh, crap, you know, always have to space it a little bit mm -hmm. better. So I'm going to post this right here. She says it's a flash freebie, but it's been free since May. <laughs> so I don't know how flash uh, we're going with this. Um, well, let me see uh, fonts. There we go. So let's see what other free fonts she has. Look at that. Elementary. That would be a good one too. Yeah. Cookie jar. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. That is cute. The, now the floaty one, that would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like that one. That's weird really to me, like but I like the little character. Yeah, he's cute. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but she has fonts on here too. I think this one is hers. Snicker and snickerdoodle. Those are fonts. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. This one's hers. I use a uh, daydreamer from her on here. I don't know okay. if it's still here. I'm sure she's still is. in creative fabric. I love that. That's mm -hmm. awesome. So, but she, she hasn't sells added hers. anything in a long time. Uh, okay. So but. she sells it on both. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. This one is also one of my favorites, but yeah. If you oh just, yeah. Day, I like daydream. Daydreamer. It's really cute. I only like it when it's capitalized though. Like if oh, yeah. you don't capitalize it, then I'm like, meh. <laughs> It's okay, but then like this, it looks so nice. So I love. It. Yeah, I could spend all day looking at fonts. I guess <laughs> I already downloaded it. <laughs> I did share it in my group, uh, Eliza. So you might have already found it. You are already downloaded it. Don't download, download it again. It. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so those are all things that I. Gosh, I I love. I just love fonts. So. Okay. I'm going to look at my notes now while you're doing your thing. <laughs> oh, great. All right, guys. I'm going to go into Canva and show you some things. So let me share my screen. All right. Here we go. Move this over here. We are going to go to home. Good morning, Antoinette. Antoinette is here. Good morning. <laughs> okay. So if you have Canva Canva Pro, it is really easy to set up brand kits. Now, I'm going to start doing brand kits for my principals. Um, I thought that that was just an amazing idea. So, but right now I have, um, let's go into my Canva here. I love those colors. Oh yeah. As soon as Sadie decided not to go bright, I went bright because <laughs> I, you know, I was like, I didn't want to do bright while she was doing bright too. So I went bright. Um, so I have my logo in here. I have my colors and then fonts. Look at all the fonts there they you can do. And you can upload from Crave Fabrica, teachers, pages, grab the fonts, load them up in here. Um, they will only show though in um, whatever brand kit you put it, load them up in. Mm -hmm. So let's say if I'm working in um, Canva Clubhouse, and then I go to um, Pips. I I can't use those because they're not uploaded, but I can just up, keep up uploading them. Mm -hmm. um, now you can do five hundred fonts per brand kit. Wow, five hundred! That should take me like three or four days to fill up. That is just crazy, <laughs> crazy. So. Uh, let me see. So up here, let me switch out the. You know, I was noticing on um my Canva the other day because uh -huh. I also I made one for my new brand. Uh huh. And I there's a little drop down menu when you're in the actual product. So if you don't oh, yeah. like the font that you have, you yeah. can totally grab one from your other. Oh, that's right. Kits. Can you really even with the ones that you uploaded? Let me, let me, I'm going to do this. And I think I, I exclusively use brands that I upload on Canva. 
Okay, so I'm going to go to here. Oh my gosh, sorry. Text. All right, I am in, let's see, I'm going to go to this one. I have a whole bunch there. Okay, so here's the drop down. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you can. So you can switch. Um, mm -hmm. So here's my brand kit for Hello. So I'm going to use that. Then I want to switch to another brand kit. But you have to switch. That's right. You have to go to the brand kit itself. Mm -hmm. So that that's probably what I, I was just saying. Um, it's not all okay. there. You have to switch to the brand kit. I so, see. Okay. Yeah. So what I just did through the drop down right there is I went to each one and yes, you can use whatever ones right here. And I go back to Canva and I have another one. So, you, so oh. yes. Um, that I wanted, yeah, the Canva one, I'm just real basic. I don't want to uh, be over the top because I'm over the top with everything else. That's never ever in my life stopped me. <laughs> For real, for real. Okay, so similar to what um, Beth showed in Teacher Pay Teeter, you can do the up and down. Mm -hmm. um, you can even space them. These little that's, buttons. That's uh, one thing that's really great about Canva is like this, the kerning and spacing. Yeah. Because... You can't do that very easily. You can't really do that in PowerPoint. And then you have the effects. So let's just talk about effects for a They're second. so cool. Because <laughs> the outline. That's I don't, I was telling Beth earlier, I don't need any more fonts because now I have outline. Now I have outline. And I can do an outline on every single thing yeah. I want. And I love it. And I am so happy that they brought it to us. I almost because, switched back to Canva yeah. because of outline. Cause it's so, so, it's perfect. When I first started uh, the Canva Clubhouse, people were like, how do you do the outline? How do you do the outline? And of course we didn't have the outline there. So I had to do this long ass video to show <laughs> how you get the, you know, you have to download. Like I would have to download this, bring it back into Canva, a couple times to do the outline it was just ridiculous but now yeah. we can and then you can all kinds of I love like it. I love looking it. back at like how we used to make things right in Canva it's like so much easier now and I love that they do that I love that they're like oh this is a need and then they fix it like flattening they they flat you can yes. flatten things yes like they, I, they just they keep adding so much to Canva and so here you can change up your font so much in both uh, PowerPoint and Canva. Mm -hmm. Just play around. Like you can, now, at first I really liked this, the um, background color, mm -hmm. but then mm -hmm. I didn't like how it moved with words. Like it would do a little, let's see here. Uh, yeah. Like if I did this. Oh yeah. I don't like that. See that that I don't like. Oh. That. So I would just so now I just do a uh, outline you know with um images, not images, uh shapes. So let's take that off cuz that's it. So yeah, you have hollow splice outline. Outlines I love my outline. I just want to put it right there. Like Okay, so what I was gonna show you guys besides this, um, there's all kinds of font combo uh, combinations down here that they have, and you don't have to have them colored or anything like that. You can just switch them up. You can use your um, brand kits, any one. You just have to switch, switch through them. Um, right here and then of course right here you can um switch out the 
I like Anton a lot for, I use that a lot. Um, it's a nice Canva tucker. also gives you recommended fonts right here. Hmm. So if you're like not, you don't want to go through all the fonts, they give you some recommended ones right here. And I think they change. Yep. See how I switched oh. onto the fonts and they change the recommended because they're, um, you know, saying, hey, this looks good with this one. So. Interesting. That's yeah. Fun. And doesn't, yeah. don't they have like a, a thing where they show you different fonts that go together? They do. And I was just, yeah, we're up here. So. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. <sighs> just kidding. Sorry, I just got so excited. See, I, I use love Brittany. <laughs> I use Brittany a lot. So it will also show you ones that you use. So mm. I have Brittany in here. I like apricots and I then I like poppins a lot. Me too. Yeah. So, all right, let's go up to where it says font. We're going to go text styles. Did they move it on me? Did it seems like they moved it. I thought it was on Did the Did they move side. it on me? I thought oh. it was on the sidebar that was like me style too. or something. Okay. Let's go, let's go here. I'm gonna look for it. X. Cause it used to be like right here that we could show it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, well, I guess if you keep going, you have all kinds. Yeah. But if in a, let me see if I bring up a project, if it does that. Interesting. Yeah, because it used to when you do the styles, it used to come up. Mm -hmm. And it used to be like you could like um like randomize it. Right. I remember that. I loved that. Oh, Brand they Hub. took it all the way. Oh, well, if you go to Brand Hub on the side and you go to like one of your pictures, if you if you just hover over your your colors that you have, you can shuffle that way. But like I want to do other shuffling. Right. I want to do font shuffling. Nope, they took it out. <laughs> That's rude. They took it out. But here, I mean, it looks like you can add. Okay. I'm a little fresh. Yeah, because it used to yeah. be like, and then they had would have the different fonts. That, mm. Yeah, the like they like suggested fonts that go together. Mm. Mm. Rude of them. Mm. Unforgivable okay. Canva. Okay. Well, the one thing that I want to show you guys, we'll go, we'll, I will be upset about this for a little bit, but I'm sure Canva will uh, give us something else instead. Mm -hmm. Okay, so see these, um, here's my name. This is actually not a font. These are, these are images. So um, what I did to create those was, uh, put in the search bar, well, elements, not text, elements. And here I put letter A. And see on the side here, you can have all kinds of different letters. Like, this is really cool. Mm, that's good for like ransom notes if you wanted to write any of them. Yeah. And then they also have the lettering. <laughs> I like this for, you know, like, you know, if yeah. I ever get anything for teacher paid teacher, if I ever do. What is that's this one and two though? Like that's like how to write the letter. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So yeah, people pay for that. People pay for that font. So that's awesome. So there's yeah. all kinds of different let's uh so you can make words with these and make your own little font. I've seen these around. A Look lot. at that guy. He's so cute. Now, also, I want to show you guys. Let's see if I can do it. Edit image. If you don't like the color, any of that, but they have so many cute things. 
there's this thing now called color mix. You could have did do a tone. I'll show you mm -hmm. both of them. But color mix does a little magic for you. Oh, I love magic. Whenever it pops up. <laughs> okay. See how it put it Ooh. in? Yeah, different colors for you. Cool. Right? Right? So color mix, it's a newish kind of thing. Um, I like it. Now, does it give me the exact color that I want? Not all the time, but <laughs> it's something now, even down here, you can come down and create little cool things with, let's see here. See if it does it. Like that. Not that oh. I would, would do that, but. It's trippy. Right? But then Duotone has more colors for you. Oh. But it's like Duotone. Like it's not, it's not going to bring that many colors in for you. But this one wasn't uh, a major difference. So this one, look at all the colors it has there. So let's go up to Color Mix and see what it gives us. Any day now, mm -hmm. any day. So these are like tips that I use to make my stuff unique. Yeah. Because when someone's going to pull this, they're probably just going to use it like that, right? Mm -hmm. They don't know that they can go over here and change it to this color if they want, or You're they don't. That one. <laughs> I, right. <laughs> or, or you can go up here and change the colors yourself mm -hmm. and make them like your brand colors exactly so like if i want to just do right here i have my brand right here see and mm -hmm. then i want the red to be this Okay, so yeah, you can change these up. Images are really cool to change. Um, so if you have, so if you, let's say if you go and use the um, letters as graphics, um, letter B, you can use the graphics right here. There's so many. And um, if you like something, let's say if I want to use this one time, but I'm not going to use it for this one. It's not going to let me start it either. Did they move it again? <laughs> They're so mean. What if you go to the eye, the little eye on the top? Right. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. It used to be in the three dots. So it did. Like this. <laughs> one <laughs> i love when i come on here and they switch things they up switch everything, and look and you're dumb. Like, this anyway. is awkward <laughs> but if you like something just uh, star it and okay. you can go back to it anytime you want when you have and it goes right into your star folder but same thing you can change the letters now let's go back to elements and Letter B. There's also photos. So this. Oh, right. I like that. Right. <laughs> I know you do. So in here, magic mm -hmm. recommendations. So they'll bring up all the ones that would go with it. But then you can come up here to info. And you can view more from this guy. You can even try different rainbow alphabet. No, it's just going to give me the rainbow, of course. But the same thing, you can come up here. Now this, you cannot change the colors like up here, but like I was telling you guys, adjust you can adjust in here as well. 
C. So these are fun things to make your stuff unique and different from everybody else. Because we don't want to be like everybody else. We want to be unique. Beth is unique, right? Yes. So <laughs> okay, and so I found... Go for it. Sorry. No. I was going to tell you that I found the the thing, the, the styles. Oh, beautiful. Where did it go? Okay, so it's up on design right there. Where you just were over on the top. Oh, design. There we go. That's it. Mm -hmm. And there then we go over to styles. Styles. It wasn't there always, before. It's right, not your fault. I always forget that. I always forget the design thing up here. It used to be under text. Yes, it used to be. Now we have to find it. So here we go. If you want creative, artistic, it gives you samples of combinations. Let's look at them all which is really nice. So that way it takes the um, thinking out of anything. I, I like this one. I like that one, yeah. Glacial Indifference is a good, it's a good font. Yeah, yeah. A good basic font. And of course you can change the color. Oh, what did I just do? Apply to all, let <laughs> me get it out of here. Uh, so if you have Canva Pro, I highly, highly, highly recommend setting up brand kits mm -hmm. you can have i think it's unlimited i don't know it used to be like 100 200 something like that but it's like we have a let's just say you will never ever not challenge like, accepted <laughs> oh my god you're too much you, <laughs> She would. She would set up. Could you all imagine of though? You're saying that you can have 500 much. fonts on each one. Could yes. you imagine? You can have 500 fonts on each okay, brand I, kit. Because I was looking I, that up. Gosh, I could make so much chaos. They'd be like, okay, everybody else except for Beth Ann because she has too many fonts on too many things. Right. <laughs> now, another little trick. Let's see if I can do it. I was trying to do the, um, uh, the, whatever you call it, the, uh, the picture uh, gradient. Oh, the gradient. I think that was on the bottom. Oh. Yeah. It's not popping up for me right now for a let for the, for this, but, uh, oh, I see. Being in Zoom and trying to, you know, show things, I feel right. like they just fight with you on it. They do. Yeah. Let's see. But anyways, you, yeah, you know, let's just move on because I'm not, I'm going to drive myself crazy. <laughs> I am so mad. <laughs> drive myself crazy trying to figure it out. But in colors, there is also, you can do the, um, gradient which I love that's crazy because I just well I I'm on a shape maybe that's the difference it because it's a shape but I I clicked on it and I clicked the color and it's like solid color or gradient right but maybe it's a shape and that's you know I'm trying to do things that Cam is like yeah no we're not gonna I don't want to do that for you because I'm Canva and I'm a jerk maybe that's right it. right well, probably that <laughs> probably that so, but I highly recommend using color mix when you really want to switch things up. And there's all kinds of things you can do with these images that are letters. All right. So I, that's what I wanted to talk about. How did I get all this crap in here? All right, Beth, I'm stopping my share. <laughs> okay. Do you have your meeting today? I don't. Okay. I don't. Um, but so I start some things that I said I wanted to talk about and I haven't yet. Um, one is make sure your fonts are large enough that people can see them. I don't do anything under 20. 20 is the lowest I go for anything that prints. Okay. Or anything good. on the internet, anything on the internet, because like, 
I have a hard time seeing smaller than that. So yeah. 20. 20. Okay. 20 is my bottom limit. Oh. I do I do 18, but to be very honest, I probably need to do 20. All yeah. right. Yeah. 20 is a more even number. So yeah, you're welcome. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, another thing is to make sure you have the license to use it if you're using something from Teachers Pay Teachers or um, or Canva even if you don't have uh, the if it's not a free font like make sure I don't know if they yeah. even let you if it's not a free font um, and you're on the free one I don't even know if they let you download it anymore. Oh, the fonts if you have a free they you can't they won't oh. let you upload fonts if you have a free. Oh, well, into the brand kit. So I see. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I looked into that. Another reason to update because. Oh yeah. (laughs) Fonts are fun. Um, but um, I know Creative Fabrica has a very relaxed um. Commercial license. I my brain wanted to say community. A community license. Hmm. Um. But I know teachers pay teachers. There's some that some people who sell things that are only for personal use for some reason. I don't know why you would make a font that's only personal use, but they do. So um, check those. The ones that I showed you today are not. They are commercial use. So you'll be able to use those. And uh, go ahead. Did after you get done, um, I think we maybe need to show where they can upload fonts in Canva. I didn't okay. do that. So, oh, oh, you can do that too. I didn't, yeah. And um, it's a little dicey in PowerPoint as well. So I could show you that as well. Okay. Um, okay. Last thing is when in doubt, print it out. Huh? Oh. <laughs> so like, if you're not, if you're not sure if something looks nice together or if like the colors will work together or if like, you know, it's legible, print it out. Yep. Or be like me and print out all your things. Right. Do you go through a lot of ink? Um, I use uh, HP Instant Ink, so I spend way more than I need to on ink. Um, but uh, I'm sure it's actually saving me money now that I think about it. But and they mail it to me, so I don't have to like go to the store and hope I get the right one. Oh, I, I like that too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't. I don't spend too much on ink. I but think just, I need to update my thing though, because I'm, uh, I'm. But to be off. very honest. Everyone needs to print out their stuff to make sure that it looks good. Yeah. If you're, if these are, if you're selling things, <laughs> please print them out first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At least, at least the first time you make something, like if you make alphabet posters, oh, yeah. like print them out, print at least one letter out. So you know that it looks yeah. the way you want it to. And then after that, like, as long as you put everything in the same spot, it's fine. Yeah. Don't have to print the whole thing, but yeah, Don't just print. to make yeah. sure. Just make sure. Yeah. I used to print like nine to a page so I could print all of my alphabet out so I could see how they all look. So I print nine to a page and it works out really well. The little tiny alphabet posters. Oh, how cute. (laughs) Go ahead. So should we show them how to um, upload a font? Because, you know, we're telling them where to go get them. We are. We should. We should show them how to. Yeah. All right. Do you want me to do that or do you want to do that? I could. You could do PowerPoint. I'll do Canva. Okay. There we go. Sharing. Teamwork makes the great dream work. Teamwork. All right. Go for it. <laughs> oh, me go? Yeah, go, go, go. Oh, I didn't know I was going first. All right. Hold on. Let me yeah. download a font. Because like you don't first. have any downloaded. I don't have any downloaded that I haven't put up already. Let's see. Share screen. Oh, my um, God. Here we go. Okay. Oops. Hi, face. Okay. Uh, put this over here. Um, okay, so let's just go to my favorites and fonts. You can always see what I'm working on. <laughs> um, let's grab this one. No, oh, gosh, I put myself on the <laughs> like I don't know which one I want to download. Um, I like this one. Angel without wings. Looks nice. Oh, and it does, and you haven't downloaded it yet. I haven't downloaded it yet. Look how cute it is. All right. So uh you download and then you just I'm on a PC, so it might look different if you are not on a PC. 
Um, you don't even have to extract it. You can nope. just double click right here and then press install right here. And it'll be like, I'm installing. Oh, I couldn't even show you because it already did. Um, and that's that's it for PowerPoint. You just have to like close out a PowerPoint and when you reopen it, it'll be there. You oh, that's without nice. Links. Mm hmm let me see if I can. We can change this to Angel Without Wings. There it is. Look wow. at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. That was super easy. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like mm -hmm. that. I have to undo all these things that I did, though. Don't save. Yeah, don't save. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. All right. So that's, that's how you do in PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let me go. Canva. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you go to your brand hub. I'm just going to plop in right here. Uh, and this is where I do it. it. Says right here, add new fonts. Oh, I like this. I have a textile. Oh, okay. So you could just oh. add it. Okay. That's where that is. That's good. So Upload you can have a different font. headers if you want. Add guidelines. What is this? Okay. So this is for a team. Okay. Oh. I like that. So that you can write. Yeah. Where they... So you can be like, hey, this is for all of my headers. <laughs> right. So here's all ones that I already have. This is one of my favorites the JT Love Regular. I got that from Creative mm -hmm. Africa. All right, so I'm going to add new. And I know I probably have something in here. Uh, Wanda, you do not have to give credit to Creative Fabrica in your credit section. Um, you do have to, if they ask you to, which they do on, they do on Teachers Pay Teachers. They do ask you to on Teachers Pay Teachers. What is I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to see what it is. <laughs> All right. Let's see. <laughs> and I know I got it from Creative Africa, hopefully. Let's see. But yes, upload anyways. So that's how you upload. Let's see what it looks like. It was on the top. Oh, was it? Oh, okay. Here we go. That's very tiny. It is very tiny. I, I can't see you. Yeah. You're bigger. All right. So let's go into <laughs> right. Uh, oh, that's a good idea. What? Um, she says that she has the creative fabrica icon and she puts her affiliate link for when she does her credit page. Yep. Turn, turns of use page. That yes. That's a good idea. Beautiful idea. Beautiful. Okay. Let's go back to creative design. Nine. You do that too a little. Do you use your affiliate link though? Um, I do when I um am telling you guys, like when I um put it in my group or my um like my my things that go my templates. That's the word. <laughs> Words were not working for me. Um, but I don't credit Creative Fabrica generally. Do you know that's one of my my main uh, sources of affiliate? Really? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it's like what you talk about. If PowerPoint had a <laughs> an affiliate program, it didn't come you know standard on all computers. Then uh, I bet I bet I'd get some money there too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I don't. Love. I don't make anything on on Canva because they don't they don't allow me to. I don't have I don't have enough followers for them. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Oh, okay, so it's like a little sketchy. Yeah, 
Oh, oh I like it better. I like it. Case. Yeah. Really? I like the other one. Yeah. Way. I don't like the uppercase. I don't know. Oh, yeah. okay. So you just have to play around with the fonts that you do, but for Pacific, for your brand or your blog, just use three. And three. what it is, it's like a, a bold header, fancy mm-hmm. um, script, yep. and then one for the sentence. A simple sentence. Simple. So yeah. then all these other fancy fonts that we've been talking about or doing, those are more like for design, like yeah. for if you're going just, to fun. Yeah. Yeah. If you're going to create cool things, classroom decor, like mm-hmm. Beth does have a specific um, font to do that with, pick fun ones. Yeah. So, and the reason I love that, the reason I love the, the pick three is because you only get so many decisions you can make in a day, you know, right. before your brain is just like, I'm not doing it anymore. So if you take that decision away, then you can make more, you can create more. Right. You know? I so that. I did, I did love your little tip about making uh, brand boards for each, you know, uh, yeah. digital like, product, well, like mm-hmm. classroom decor, make, mm-hmm. have, have your fonts in there. Uh, printable cards have your different fonts in there printable calendars because those those are way different fonts because they are you have to print them um Mm -hmm. you know so yes I like that I like like a like a product line if you have a line you you can have different yeah so okay (laughs) so did you know, I didn't even look to see if we have questions. We probably have lots. I haven't seen. I've been answering them as they happen. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Um, Thank you. If uh, anybody has any questions. Yeah. Because we're going to probably head out here pretty soon. We've been talking yes. for a whole hour. Huh. I should drink some water. <laughs> Let me drink some cold coffee. <laughs> hmm. All right. Does anyone have any questions? about anything if you do you can type it in the chat or unmute whatever if not we're gonna go because my kids are being very (laughs) my kids are probably destroying my house right now there was play-doh out when i went downstairs so i'm scared oh okay so I i have a quick question see the little owl in best picture right there who else collects those I do. I oh, he has a name. name. He, you, you didn't know they have names. No. Oh, <gasps> Beth, they all you? have names. Oh, I've been telling them. I've been calling them the wrong names. Um, what are we going to do with her? The um, box. Yes, but clean up the play doh if you have play doh out. Uh, no, I don't. Okay. I want to stop the recording. Okay. <laughs>